Hey, Jen Banks here. This is the podcast A is for Adversity, and I'm going to talk about being more intentional about our thoughts and our goals so we can make our lives happen instead of letting life happen to us. This is episode number 13, Life. You guys, we are halfway through the alphabet. This calls for a celebration. As I go through this round of sponsors, you will be able to use the discount code A is for adversity to get 15 to 25% off products. The sponsor for this episode is Matt King. If you remember from a previous episode, he is my brother and he is the owner of King's Carving. He does custom wood pieces with his Ryobi wood burning tool. (laughs) I don't know much about it, but I do know that his products are amazing. You can text Matt at 801-360-5656, or you can shoot him an email at cougarblue66 at gmail.com. That's K-U-G-R-B-L-U-6-6 at gmail.com. And check out his work using the hashtag Kings Carving, that's carving with a K, on Facebook. We've all heard before that life isn't fair. Well, that's just a thought. I'm giving you permission right now to believe anything you want to. If that thought, life isn't fair, isn't serving you, let go of it. I'm not here to try to convince you to believe everything that I do. I'm here to empower you to see that there are other thoughts that you can choose. I'm here to help you examine your thoughts and decide if they're serving you or if they're a problem. What does fair even mean? Maybe fair means getting what we need instead of what we want. There's a quote that's often cited by Albert Einstein that reads, Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its inability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. This was often referenced when I was a school teacher in regards to how every student learns differently. Life is the same way. We all need certain challenges and experiences to help us be the people that we need to become and the best version of ourselves. While it's been years since I've heard of life coaching, it's only been the last year that I've really been studying it. The main thing that I've learned is that circumstances are neutral. Life is a circumstance and death is a circumstance. It is the thoughts that we have about those circumstances that add meaning. And as we've talked about the model, I hope you've been able to see this. And again, If those thoughts aren't serving you, that's totally fine. I recently listened to a podcast where she was talking about how she doesn't believe that circumstances are neutral, but in this episode, it will be through the lens that circumstances are neutral. I highly recommend the book Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. It is a 1946 biography of Viktor and his experience as a prisoner in a Nazi concentration camp during World War II. Viktor Frankl believes that man's search for meaning is a powerful driving force that allows mankind to overcome extreme odds and achieve extraordinary feats. He is living proof that life is a circumstance. Arguably, he was in a horrible circumstance, but he shows that circumstances are neutral because even he was able to find meaning through that experience. Life is only positive or negative when we choose to see it that way. I believe that the quote-unquote worst thing we can experience in life is negative emotion. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, what if someone chops off their leg? Wouldn't that be pretty close to the worst thing that could happen? And I would say that while it might not be easy to avoid negative emotion in that circumstance, it is possible. It might not happen immediately, and it will take practice, but just as Viktor Frankl showed, you can find the positive in any situation or use the negative to serve you. I'm going to go through some variations of when life gives you lemons. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When life gives you lemons, don't squirt them in other people's eyes. That was said by J. Andrew Helt. When life gives you lemons, learn to juggle. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, then sell it for a profit. When life gives you lemons, keep them, because hey, free lemons. That was said by Jake Hamilton. If life gives you melons, you may be dyslexic. Now I have a magic trick for you. It is my first day of seminary and I walk in and choose a seat. My first impression of my seminary teacher is that he is quirky and odd. And I immediately wonder how he's going to make a religion class entertaining. I don't have to wait long because his first words are that he has a magic trick for us. He pulls out a bucket and a shovel similar to those that you'd find on a beach, and he dramatically shows us that there's nothing inside the bucket. He allows a few people to reach in and verify that that is the case before he puts the sand shovel inside. 
He shakes it around elaborately and makes a few silly noises. And then, voila, he pulls out the sand shovel. (sighs) He then says, the experience that you'll have in this class is up to you. You get out what you put in. (sighs) So life is the same way. We get out what we put in. If we work hard and reach our goals, chances are we'll feel a lot more satisfied. If we're putting in a bunch of negative thoughts, opinions, judgments, and beliefs, that's likely what we'll find in the world and the experience that we'll have. A famous quote by Mother Teresa says, Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. So many of us are just operating at the effect of our lives rather than the other way around. You hear me say every week that we are here to make our lives happen instead of letting life happen to us. I love, love when people post quotes because it gives me an opportunity to read a quote that I haven't before. I read one on Facebook the other day that said, the gap between the life you're living and the life you want is called choices. We know patience is involved with that as well. When we're in a hurry, it is only because of how we think it will make us feel. I've said this before, but instead of waiting to feel a certain way, We need to feel that way now, and that is the way that will take us to our goals and the results we want in our lives. While also keeping in mind that life never goes as planned, plan accordingly. It seems like quite the balancing game, but remember, if you're juggling a lot of balls, just focus on holding one at a time. The rest will sort itself out or fall out of our lives completely. Socrates said, If all misfortunes were laid in one common heap whence everyone must take an equal portion, most people would be contented to take their own and depart. Man, getting all the big guns today. Mother Teresa, Socrates, good stuff. The other night, my husband got up with the baby and I was apologizing to him and he said, it is what it is. And I realized that we often say that to each other and I like it because... It's just us accepting the neutral circumstance, and any meaning that we attribute to it comes from our own brains. The last thing I have for you is your weekly wisdom. It is a quote by Garrison Kaler. Some luck lies not in getting what you thought you wanted, but getting what you have, which once you have got it, you may be smart enough to see it is what you would have wanted had you known. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again soon. <laughs>